Welcome to the Tony Francis Podcast, a podcast where we share the prophetic word of the Lord, biblical insights, and prayers that will cause you to live life abundantly. For more information, resources, and more, connect with us at www.healednations.com. Now, here is your host, Tony Francis. Hi. This is Tony Francis. I pray my podcast today finds you well, my friend. Well, today's topic is the new song. You know, if you uh, are a believer in, uh, in Jesus and you have been hanging around for a while, uh, maybe you have heard of this term that God is singing over you a new song or a song of deliverance. And uh, so today's uh, podcast is is powerful because you will learn a little bit about the new song when heaven sings over you and uh, reading from Luke chapter 2 uh, starting from verse uh, 11 um, and this is where the the angels appeared to the shepherd when Christ was born and they delivered the good news Uh, for them but also we see this choir of angels singing a new song and so let's find out about it Uh, in verse 10 it says but the angel said to them the shepherd uh, do not be afraid i bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people today in the town of david a savior has been born to you he is the messiah the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly, and before I read this, uh, you know, uh, you can analyze or uh, say different inputs about why the Lord uh, was born in a manger, you know, uh, and they are all beautiful, the revelations around around this. But uh, here we, we find the angel telling the shepherds that this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. So the benefit of this, uh, of Jesus being born in a manger, is a sign. And it helped the shepherd... Uh, reaching um, reaching him, going to see him. So it was a sign, you know, finding a baby born in a manger. It doesn't happen every day. <laughs> so this is one of why the Lord chose uh, to be born in a manger. Anyway, this is not the topic I'm talking about today, but I thought it was cool. It is a sign. So... Uh, let's continue in verse 13 suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel praising God and saying glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests so we see this new song being declared from heaven over the shepherds and all the people, all of us. It's a declaration over all humanity, actually. It's a new song that is still hovering over us as people. Uh, Everyone, every human being has this song hovering over him. And uh, so uh, this song or new song uh, was tied to the birth of Christ. So It's like a cause and effect thing. So because Christ was born, the angels appeared and sung this new song. And uh, so it was released. So, uh, you know, in the beginnings of things, uh, maybe a ministry or you are tapping into a new blessing, uh, it's, it's, it's a way to tell you that heaven is rejoicing with you. God is singing over you. 
and for you. You know, when you're happy, you sing, even if you don't have a decent voice, <laughs> but you sing, you know? And uh, so it is a way to say, wow, yes, I'm happy. Um, so it is a way of rejoicing. And uh, I want you to see it this way. When you start a new beginning, like here, for example, it is Christ being born. And what a great beginning for humanity. So it was accompanied with a new song, with a, a uh, joyful um, song. And, uh, and uh, I think this is important because heaven doesn't... Um, anything random you know so if heaven sing sings a new song um because of an event so i think there is power in a new song or power in singing uh, a song inspired by the holy spirit uh, you know you read in the bible um, many instances or examples where you see uh, god singing um songs of deliverance over his people or um, I don't have all the verses to share with you but uh, and now I'm reminded of um, when the angels were there when the creator was creating it says in the book of Proverbs that the angels were singing come on have you read this passage in Proverbs it's amazing Wow. So how happy God was <laughs> when he was creating the earth and the heavens and everything. And uh, so uh, the angels around the, the Lord, they were singing, they were happy. And uh, so uh, this is amazing, you know. You, you have been brought into existence with joy, not just joy, with a an escalated joy, an increased joy, uh, the fullness of joy, because singing a song is the maximum, you know. Uh, so God was singing uh, over his creation with the angels. And even it says that the Lord rejoices in you and he dances around you and, sing, and sings uh, songs over you, songs of love. Uh, I don't know uh, the the reference now. I'm sorry, I forgot the reference. Uh, but uh, this is what it says. So uh, we see the 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 power of of a new song, you know. And even in uh, in the relationship between David uh, and uh, and Saul uh, and Saul, uh, King Saul, you know, David was. Um, serving King Saul and uh, we, we read that uh, King Saul uh, was depressed and um, the, the, the demons were attacking him from time to time and uh, they, they caused him trouble and, and they altered his behaviors his behavior and uh, he, be he becomes uh, violent or jealous and he tried to kill David many times but uh, we see that David was skillful in playing uh, an instrument and maybe singing over uh, King Saul and that uh, that ministry caused the Holy Spirit to come uh, over Saul and brought him deliverance from the demonic so can you imagine what a powerful tool uh, when you sing a new song and uh, when you praise the Lord so it it causes someone or maybe a, a place who knows a, a nation uh, to be free from a demonic assault or assignment um, you know so this is amazing um uh, the, the theme of a new song. So this is what I have in my heart for you today. I just wanted to shed some light uh, about this. Uh, and if uh, you don't know about this, that's amazing that you uh, heard this podcast today. And uh, 
if you know about this, uh, it's good to remind you again and maybe stir you to position yourself to hear a new song, to uh, um, come up with a spontaneous heavenly song. You, you don't know the uh, importance and the power of it. So um, position yourself today to hear from the Lord a new song or maybe let heaven hear your new song. And uh, so be blessed today in the name of Jesus. And until next time. Thank you.